Hi, I'm Jill Dobson. She's a Hollywood star, often linked with the Golden Boys of Baseball. But she doesn't just love the players, she's obsessed with the game. Here to talk about her new book, Safe at Home, Hollywood star Alyssa Milano. Thank you so much for joining us. Thank you for having me. So why did you write the book? My initial intent was to write a book about baseball from a fan's perspective. Uh, and that was basically it. But what wound up happening was when I sat down and started writing, um, I had a really hard time separating myself and my and my own personal memories and history um, with the sport. So it wound up being sort of a memoir slash uh, love letter to baseball, where I basically use baseball as different as a mirror to different points in my life. And one of those points in your life was when you first moved to Los Angeles yeah. for Who's the Boss? And you said baseball helped you bond with your father during that time. Tell us a little bit about that. Yeah, I mean, I grew up in a house where, you know, my dad loved to, to speak very romantically about Ebbets Field and about the Brooklyn Dodgers, and he was a huge Brooklyn Dodgers fan. Um, and he told amazing stories about sneaking in under the bleachers. And, and when I moved out to... Los Angeles. Uh, my mom stayed in New York with my brother, and so my dad and I went. And I remember being uh, in our little two-bedroom apartment uh, in Studio City and missing my mom and my brother tremendously, and hearing a baseball game on the TV in the other room. And I went in, and I suddenly felt like I was home. And I sat on my dad's lap, and that's sort of when it began. Um, I didn't really get obsessed until I was in my 20s, but baseball was always a constant. And it, it's a way still to this day that my father and I connect. You mentioned in the book that you spent a couple of years dating different baseball players and that you had to talk to a therapist about moving forward and, and finding a different type of guy. Tell us about that. Yeah, I've, I've spoken to therapists many times in my lifetime. Um, but yeah, I, uh, you know, my social life was basically at the stadium. And I was a girl who sort of idolized and worshipped ball players because I, I grew up hearing stories about them. So, you know, I definitely never intended to go out with three. And I definitely recognized um, that I was repeating a pattern that needed to be broken. Uh, and I went and talked to a therapist, not only about that, but many things, um, you know, and, and sort of decided that I needed to not be in, in that sort of pattern. We know you've spent a lot of time in baseball stadiums as a fan, and you mentioned one day going to shop to buy a new jersey or something to wear yeah. to a game and not being able to find anything. What came of that? Yeah, I, uh, I was at a Dodgers game, and I went into the stadium shop, and I was looking for something cute to fly the colors and support the team, and I just saw a sea of pink. Um, and I thought, God, that's kind of weird. And everything was boxy and uh, not made with quality fabrics, the silhouettes were weird. So I went back into my seats and I remembered see, like actually having a moment where I looked out into the crowd and I saw a lot of women. And I figured, you know, clearly there's no way I was the only woman looking for cute fan apparel. And I understand your clothing line led to a blog. Tell us about the blog. Yes. You said players are sometimes even reading that. Yes, which is terrifying. Yeah, I have a blog on MLB.com. But, you know, I go into all of this as being a fan. You know, I'm not trying to be a sports journalist or anything. I just, I really love the sport. Safe at home. Thank you. Alyssa Milano, thank you so much for joining us. And for more entertainment from Fox, visit foxnews.com. I'm Jill Dobson. Thanks for watching.